Hi guys, welcome back to BA Adventures. Today we're in Oklahoma City at the Cowboy Hall of Fame Museum. So come with us. So we decided to visit here from one of our good friends. He would always talk about this, Mike Wall. And so we decided that it's finally time to come and see it. We're really excited. This building is massive and we've heard some really great things about it. So join along and check out what we see. And later we're going somewhere to eat that you guys are uh, gonna wanna check out and stick around for because it's apparently really famous yes. place to eat. <laughs> like John Wayne ate there. So, Ronald Reagan. And Ronald Reagan. <laughs> so uh, you guys need to stick around and wait to see what that's all about. See you later. All right, so we made it inside and there's this old replica of a stagecoach, which was really cool. Um, we found out that you can only fit nine people on it and inside of it. Um, and so we got in it to take pictures and <laughs> it was super wobbly. So I don't know how they didn't get like coach sick. <laughs> Lame joke, right? But anyways, I would get car sick in that sucker. But it was really cool and the exhibits are so neat here. We'll give you a front facing what's going on. So there is all the stuff about Route 66 and road tripping. Road tripping through the Oklahoma Route 66. So something neat that you can do here is they give you um, an option to create some postcards and then clip them to the wall here. So we uh, we did our own. There's ours right there. So I think that's a pretty neat thing. And uh, over to the left here at the end of the uh, Route 66 hall is a massive statue of looks like a cougar or a mountain lion sort of deal so uh been asked, it says please don't touch so we're not going to touch it but this thing pretty neat uh statue that they've got here and then we can go right or left or behind ash over here is another hallway but I think that's just the exhibition wing, so I'm not sure what is down there. Um, I wonder if it's not some shows, because we saw some people um, carrying in some uh, suitcases of possible things. So there may be a dance competition here or something, so we're not sure. So we walked right in here to the right, which is where we decided to go first, and uh, they have a whole bunch of pictures and little quotes above and then there's a quote by John McClain aka Bruce Willis and Ash had a little moment she thought that they were a real person there is a picture right below it but still not real not real <laughs> so they have this neat Elkhorn chair that uh I assume they covered in some sort of padding because that does not look comfortable at all. Not one bit. But they've even got a couple uh, coats and things, um, different sort of uh, wares and stuff that people wore. So, kind of neat. Very interesting. This this pattern here is really crazy too. I wonder how the, yeah Ash <laughs> thinks that that stuff's kind of in style now. The mm -hmm. But I just kind of wonder. Um, I don't know. Maddie would know everything about Western wear. She would. So we'll, we'll need her to watch but I her and let us know. but I kind of kind of wonder how they got those colors in there on a straight line and everything. Like because there's an old uh, photo of a bear chief up there. So, those are obviously stitched in, which makes sense. So, here's a couple other things. Here's a um, an armchair, also. It looks like it's made out of different uh, bull horns. It's 
pretty neat. These have a lot of neat different uh, things of cowboy clothing. Here it is. Here's the Wrangler section. I wondered, and the Levi's, and the Lees. Wondered when we were going to get to this area of jeans and clothing. That's all black right there. Where is that located? It's a jean jacket and pants. Ninth Circuit, 1964. 1964. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Highly recommend coming to this place if you are into cowboys and the western style of uh, clothing and history and everything. Um, it's actually rather neat to uh, go through and see how it all developed in the lifestyle and everything. And Oh hey, there's a casing of different styles of boots over here. Nope, there it is. There's the casing of belt buckles. We'll get to the boots in a minute. Different belt buckles. There's a there's a roundup and artistry boot. Looks like it's John Lee Wills boot or belt buckle. That's cool. And here's the section of boots. Really neat. And how boots have changed over the years. It's kind of cool. So, came around the corner, and they have a Chief Indian motorcycle. Uh, this thing looks really neat. Leather saddlebags, and the danglies that are off of it. And uh, I think this detail is really neat there on the front tire. Looks like it's got a Chief head, as well as those up there are also Chief heads. That's not the coolest part. It isn't the coolest part. Um, nowadays, this wouldn't seem crazy, but this uh, 1950s saddle right here. It's called a singing saddle. It, it has, has a built-in radio. <laughs> so the cowboys didn't have to sing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we were walking over to it, and I was like, that looks like a speaker in that saddle. And Ash, so it goes, no way, it's not. <laughs> but sure enough. It's a radio in a saddle. Because the 50 is coming through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they have a section here that teaches you how to square dance on the floor. And Ash is trying to figure it out. But uh, she did it wrong. She's got to keep uh, her eyes faced that way, which is why there's that spot on the circle. No, face, face the whole time, yeah. You're doing the do si do, yep, yep. Now you got to move backwards. You got, yeah. And then keep going that direction, like that. No, no, don't turn. Yeah, you gotta keep facing that way. <laughs> it's the do -si do yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> Ali. She has two left feet. The front and back anybody can do, it's forward and backward. So we got to a section that had a couple boots and there's a pair of boots right there that are interesting. <laughs> but I believe that uh, Michael J. Fox wore those boots right there in um, Back to the Future 3. So. You think they'll make a comeback? No, they're not gonna make a comeback. <laughs> I don't think those shoes are gonna make a comeback at all. Not at all. But those shoes, they might. Because they were worn in a movie. Which is a pretty good movie. <laughs> so. Alright, so we got into this section. With Native American attire. And different uh, things. That um, the Native Americans wore. Like here's even like. A full suit. With a really interesting hat. Um. It's a woman's wedding outfit um, from the Southern Plains circa 1900, which is really interesting. Then you have some dance 
and dresses, attire, and different clothing. Mm -hmm. Well, I think those are chaps, not leggings. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it goes underneath the dress thing. So, yep. It's a little dark in here. I really hope you guys can see this well. It's really mm -hmm. And it is really, really cool. Um, there's even some gloves over here that I'm going to get to. Um, and cufflinks and arm braces and bracelets as well. And here's some dolls and some children's shoes. And looks like little accessories for the dolls as well. Then here's some shoes and moccasins, even. I'm not quite sure why there's some tennis shoes back there. I think it's just the design. The designs, the designs they look like Converse shoes. Yeah, so they modernize. They look, they look way too new. Oh, yeah, they do have some tr um, designs on it and stuff that are from there. And there's some different uh, baby items like cradles and a scaled down teepee. Is it a teepee? What is that? It's a type of tent. Some type of tent. Mm hmm. And you've got some different saddles that they made even. They look more like blankets, really, than saddles. Well, that's a saddle on that horse there. Here we go. Here's some other saddles that they, they used right there. And some things that they carried while on the horse horse itself and then here is a clay and wooden statue which is neat and then here's a big thing that many uh, Native Americans are known for it is a massive, massive headdress. I just wonder how heavy it is. Yeah, I don't know how heavy that thing is either. Made of red wool cloth, ribbon, eagle feathers, plume fe feathers, glass beads. So there's where some rawhide and felt hat. That thing's got to be heavy. It's got to be. It really is. Now here's a smaller headdress. That the traditional that you would see is right there in the middle and maybe one like that. That's an interesting one. It's got like a castle in the front. Yeah, I've never seen something like that mm -hmm. one. That one's from like Southwest Hoppy. 1905. 1905? 1905? 1950. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's the Hoppy tribe. And then you've got some different woven items over here. There's a Looks like a rubber duck. Different pottery and things made. So there's some modernized stuff back there. There's Santa Claus, Tweety Bird, Jesus, some flowers, a United States crest. And here's a dye chart. Oh, so here's the things that they use to sew the things in and what they use for colors and the different uh, items they use to get the colors out of it. And they have a September 11th rug. Yep, it's a rug, that's what it says here, it's a rug. It was made in 2004 with wool, cotton, and commercial dyes. That's pretty good. Very pretty. All right, now we've come into the cowboy movie section. Um, my grandpa, he'll know exactly who that is right there. Mm -hmm. Starting off. But they've got different uh, paintings of different movie characters and actors. And we're going to come right over here to this section. 
and you've got old Gunsmoke. And you got Dodge City Street. The makeup of it right there, the little city map. Mm -hmm. I think that's how they set up the set, actually. It is, because you've got stairs over there on the back of the livery stable and the freight yard. So that's actually a map of the uh, the uh, Dodge City set. So you got some Roy Rogers stuff here. Places. Pretty cool seeing some of these props and stuff from these old shows. Literally... Uh, Growing up, every time I walk into my grandma and grandpa's house, there's always a Western on, show or movie, or Andy Griffith. But I don't think we're going to see any Andy Griffith in here. We might. It is a little too, little, little far from Mayberry, but where's John Wayne? We got some John Wayne. You sure? There's the John Wayne section. Okay. This is the section that my dad would love. There's everything John Wayne up there. Different scenes from different movies. Oh, there we go. There's Rooster Cogburn. Yeah. Is that the actual one? I don't know. I think that's the actual prop. <laughs> so they've got, there it is, yep, wardrobe, Rooster Cogburn. It's gift of the John Wayne family. There is a hat and the eye patch from the movie. They had to change them as precaution to prevent an eye infection. That is crazy. Oh my. <laughs> that's cool. I think here's a... <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know this or not, but uh, there's a show that I happen to like a lot called The Mandalorian, and his grandson is actually in the suit for some of those scenes, He's got the walk. and he has the same John Wayne walk. <laughs> That's so cool. Mm -hmm. My grandma used to think that his walk was just a sissy walk <laughs> that is what she called it <laughs> okay so we just hung a right and we are now on the streets of a nighttime western town this is actually pretty incredible it's all indoors it's all set up they even have an outdoor section that we didn't go to but the reason we didn't go to it was because um Everything out there is closed during the winter time, and it's more to be discovered for you guys. Oh, you can go in. Yes. And you can go in. There's a snake in my boot. There's a snake in your boot. This is not Disney. We are not at Toy Story Land. It is the jail. Does it open? Oh, it does. Get in there. And this is where we're just gonna. Just gonna leave her in there there you're locked in goodbye okay nice knowing you <laughs> it would be pretty rough this is oh if this was the real place you're outside yeah i just realized that we walked outside <laughs> i thought we were in another room just because of the wall over here but we are we are outside the yep so there's the different badges what, what about that badge up there Special, it's a special agent badge. That's from Wells Fargo. So like Still a special they, agent. Is it called, Secret um, service. <laughs> yeah, this is outside. Yeah, this is outside. This is outside yeah. So you're you're out in the heat and everything right there. Man, you do not want to get in trouble in the old west. There's a cat up there at the old photo studio. Mm-hmm. Oop, silver dollar saloon. I'm going to the saloon. And here we are, the saloon. Bartender. Hit me with that. This, this reminds me of Silver Dollar City. <laughs> this reminds you of Silver Dollar City? Well, it is the Silver Dollar Saloon. Yeah. So, so the town is called 
Well, actually, there's two different towns or sections. One of them is called Le Ikakoshkomo. <laughs> it's out there, and we were just in Prosperity Junction. So we're going to go up to the outdoor section here. Check it out. So, okay. I'm kind of glad that we decided to come out here. I know we said that we weren't going to because it was all closed down. But it's kind of just the town square area. Has some neat stuff. Uh, I'm sorry for that loud noise in the background. I guess they're testing some emergency sirens. <laughs> everything um, is fine, everything okay. Is okay. There's no storm coming that I'm aware of because there's not a cloud in the sky. But uh, this section's pretty. Um, got prosperity and everything back in that section so there's the building that houses it and everything it's all inside there they did a great job of making you feel like you've done something there and then um this is what's called the sod house it looks like it's a event center section um and we'll walk over here you've got like little mountain ranges it's called the rockies i guess and then there is inner tribal village down here so they have a massive outdoor section as well um i think we're not going to show you everything just so that it gives you guys a little more um incentive to, incentive come. to come and check this place out because we we already highly recommend coming in and and checking this place out but uh it also leaves more for you guys to discover as well so but i do want to say that here's a small little tidbit of this area so we will uh, meet you when we get back inside all right so after the gift shop we're gonna leave here we're gonna spend a little uh, day to ourselves sort of through uh, OKC and AKA, then we're going outlet mall shopping <laughs> yeah outlet mall shopping <laughs> Ashley's favorite they have a Disney store here <laughs> oh, um, they, have Under Armour. <laughs> they do have Under Armour also um, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna go do that and then remember to stick around and we're gonna go to a um, really neat restaurant where John Wayne and Ronald Reagan all ate. Yeah. So uh, stick around for that and that's the next time we'll see you. See you then. So we've made it downtown to Stockyard City. Yeah. So it's not really downtown Oklahoma City, but it's kind of... It has like an old time down feel. Yeah, like a small town feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so where we're going is actually right there <laughs> at the Cattleman's Cafe. Uh, we have uh, quite a bit of a wait, so we're gonna go upstairs to the little bar and wait for a little bit and get something to drink up there maybe and some appetizers maybe some appetizers. Yeah. So we'll show you what, you what we get. See you then. So this is the waiting area that they have upstairs above the actual restaurant where you can wait and it does have a full service bar. We finally got to sat down and we are in the older section where it looks like an old classic diner. Okay, so we ordered the steak and baked potato. We're gonna get into this and we will let you know how the steak is afterwards. See you then. So, um, all right, so we got back to our hotel because uh, when we got out of Cattleman's, we were stuffed. So much food. So much food. <laughs> um, it was delicious, mm -hmm. highly recommended, like, there's cattle there's like there's my dad's there's my dad's steak and then there's cattleman's steak i mean it's <laughs> it like really right good. on top of each other the so. rolls were great they're homemade mm -hmm. rolls um the house dressing on the salad was so good yeah it was um there's I, my only complaint and this is because like i'm ocd about food touching each other there was like a lot of liquid on the steak that's your fat from and your steak. and i just didn't <laughs> like all the liquid with like my uh, potato <laughs> so that was my only teeny tiny complaint but everything was really great yeah so. food was great Oklahoma City was great so uh, yeah. we highly recommend you guys visiting here yeah, we and, love it yeah we do honestly yeah, we do. so anyway with uh, that being said don't forget to hit the like button subscribe button and that bell notification button so you don't miss any of our adventures mm -hmm. all right so bring on the next adventure bye guys mm -hmm.